Hi, my name is Eileen Rivera, and this is Bixby Knowles TV. My team and I are committed to introducing you to the businesses, the people, and the homes of Bixby Knowles and the surrounding area. Today we have a really unique opportunity. We're meeting with a um, group of ladies that formed a book club many, many years ago, and they're going to allow us to join their discussion. So really looking forward to this. It should be fun. If you know any other groups that we can visit and feature on Bixby Knowles TV, please be sure to call me, email me, or just leave a post here on the fan page. All right, thanks so much. We haven't even said that. Barbara? It, the book was The Shack by W.M. Paul Young. Wow. You need to be like an anchor. That was good. <laughs> That's just so much fun. Show of hands, who likes the book? And who didn't? <laughs> okay. Laura, since Teresa stepped out for a minute, can you tell us briefly why you didn't like the book? Um, I just didn't like the writing style. And I also, as I'm listening to the discussion, I realized I really didn't like the all the cliches. There's just too much pat stuff in the book. I didn't care for it. Okay. And Barbara, how about you? What did you like about the book? I, I love the book. Uh, maybe I'm simple-minded. I thought the writing was terrific. Uh, and I think it speaks to, and I've had experience of this, teenagers and our young adults who are looking for the message, but in a different package. And I think this package, they're very open to. They get a really enjoy the idea of the different images. Uh, has been my experience, and I loved uh, always calling us to forgiveness. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, Michelle, can you share one of your favorite passages with us from in the book? I'm trying to find the one that I talked about before. Go, go to her. I'll okay, I'll go to her. Chantal, how about you? Tell us something you liked. Read us something you liked. Okay, I'll, this is towards the end of the book, and it says, Matt, if anything matters, then everything matters. Because you are important, everything you do is important. Every time you forgive, the universe changes. Every time you reach out and touch a heart or a life, the world changes. With every kindness and service, seen or unseen, my purposes are co accomplished and nothing will ever be the same again. I found that yeah. profound. <clears throat> Wonderful. Michelle? This one spoke to me a little bit. It says, when, when you choose independence over relationship, you become a danger to each other. Others become objects to be manipulated or managed for your own happiness. Authority, as you usually think of it, is merely the excuse the strong use to make others conform to what they want. I just think about all the things, that, all the people or the opportunities in my life where, you know, you try and be independent and think that you don't need others. And it's, it's not how you build a relationship. It's really not. And there's, there's, re there's reasons for that. It's just not the basis of a good, strong relationship. To be too independent. Being independent is okay, but too independent. That <laughs> takes you away from not the essence, not mm -hmm. needing. Being in a relationship. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, well, that. We didn't intend it this way, but that's a perfect segue for the next couple questions I have. And I'm going to start, I'm going to ask Lisa, but certainly all of you can answer this question, and that is, because um, I think you're the senior member of this book club, aren't you? <laughs> 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 uh, I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm a seniority, my friend, not age. <laughs> I, I think so. I think as I, I mean, a lot of these ladies have been with book club for a long time, but I right. think. For the OG. <laughs> Virtual gangster. Yeah. Um, how long have, How long have you been participating in this book club? Um, probably, gosh, 15 years. 15 yeah. years. That. I think I had, I had three little kids when I met some of these women at the park and then realized they were at St. Barnabas and got to know them all that way. And when we first started, it was a bunch of women that wore jeans all day and the rules were you had to dress up to come to book group. Like, well, you have to read the book, and also you can't wear jeans. I'm like, oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Sounds like fun. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely had transition, but uh, it's been a wonderful, you know, opportunity to meet people, and we're all from the neighborhood and different areas of the neighborhood and different schools and things like that, different kids that have interacted over the years, which is nice. Okay, so Michelle mentioned relationship, and now you're telling us you've been with the group for 15 years. Can anybody just pipe in and... and Share some of what you've gotten out of the group and the value of book club beyond the literary experience. What I love about this book club and any book club is when the book is a vehicle to get to know the other people. 
and it's not so much about what's written in, in the pages, but what's written in our stories, and that we grow so much there. As the senior person, age-wise, <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> right, I enjoy this particular group when I'm able to come from a different perspective. You're the age of my children, and so it, it's interesting to hear that level, and I hope that I bring another level of maturity and wisdom, I'm sure, <laughs> and, and outlook. We so that. that's, a, that's, a, that's a wonderful blend. Uh, Chantal's mother deserted me, so I'm the only old woman left in the group. Andrea Hart was in That's true. Oh, that's right. Very, very good. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, and I love it when you come because you do give us, you challenge us to look at things in a different light. Well, I'm living, I'm living proof that you can all have another 30 years <laughs> and still either be struggling with or accomplish some of this stuff. Exactly. Well, so. Elsa, how about you? Tell me what you like about Book Club. I just like the different perspectives of all the different women getting closer, feeling like I get to know everybody through the books and through then our socializing. I just, it's a real important part of my life. I hate to miss it. All right, ladies. Thank you again so much for indulging me. Everybody say goodbye. Bye. Bye.